FRC Team 503 Frog Force and this is our FTC 2023 Robot in One Week Challenge sponsored by Rev Robotics. We've been working on this for the last five days. This is our sixth day and we're really proud of what we've come to. Our robot is named Hop and now we're going to be showing you how we're using this robot on this year's field. After we're done with that, we're going to break break apart each game, spe game specific element and show how you can improve it for your team's challenge. One, fire. Okay, this is the drone launcher and it's made out of Legos. This is our first uh, prototype and we found that it works pretty well so we just kept it on. This is a plane that we used and it's pretty standard. All we did was uh, fold the tip back so that it dips down and so that we could reuse it again. And all it does is just slide right on here and then you just let it go. Yeah. And so this is able to work because of the extrusions that we use from Rev. They're pretty flexible to use, so we could just put the uh, slide the Legos right on, and everything else just uh, fit in pretty well. And moving on, this is the claw. This was also made from Rev extrusions, and because we could like move it around to uh, figure out which way we wanted to align it, so that we could have it perfectly parallel to each other and grab the pixels easily. Just like this. Maybe we want to cut this part out. Explain that the servos is going to hold it, okay? The servos can hold it, please. <laughs> so for the drivetrain, this is uh, pretty much the standard rev channel drivetrain. We didn't use the center wheel and we put the Omni wheels on the back specifically because that allows us to turn more efficiently in front of it because um, the, the other step, the next step up would be to use a Mechanum drive. But with our, our current state of trying to build out fast, we decided to go with this differential drive that can turn really easily for aligning at the, at the backdrop. And then our arm is also pretty standard. You can see the gearing is such that it's very high torque. We even have two motors powering each side, just running in tandem with each other, so that this whole structure, which we tried to make as sturdy as possible, is able to move up and down <laughs> uh, <laughs> without, without problems. So these are our hooks for climbing, and we Use the rev extrusions because they're very light and they allowed us to add this weight onto our arm without causing any problems with raising or lowering the arm. And it also gives us the extra height we need because the arm already has it go up half the way. And it works as a double jointed arm. So these um, hooks have also gone through a lot of um, changes. For example, we first had one and then we added two to get it on there and they used to be um, the other way. This allowed the front wheels to come up easily but the back wheels were still on the ground. That's why we flipped them. This way the whole robot would come up. This is the shoot for the improvements. <laughs> so now that you've seen how our robot works and what it's made up of, we're going to talk about some things that you can do to improve it and make your robot even more competitive. So to the climbing hooks, you can add a mechanical component so that both of them become synced. Or you could have an encoder and just do it in code. You can also invest in a set of mechanical wheels so you're able to maneuver around the field much easier. Okay. If you know your location on the field by able tags or a Dobbin tree, 
you can, uh, and if you have an encoder on your arm, you can tell which angle it is at so that you can find out the exact angle and speed you need to get to the first zone and get the most points. Uh, an improvement that you could make to the drone launcher is replacing these Lego components with the custom 3D printed parts to improve reliability and accuracy of the launcher. And although it's not necessarily required by the rules, as per our reading at least, um, if you wanted to make reduce the strain on these hook motors and, and the arm motor while you're climbing, having some sort of mechanical lock either by a via a string or we were even considering at some point a carabiner that once you pull it off it locks in and then holds it in place. If you can mount something like that on here in a way that it's not going to be stressing another one of these parts that would be a really good improvement just for the overall quality of not having to replace the motors as often and if the rule ends up being that you have to keep it while disabled that would be another good improvement for the climber. Thank you to Rep for sponsoring our starter kit. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification button for some more fire helpful content. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching.